So you can't sing? I cannot sing. Okay. You do not want to hear me <laughs> sing. I'm just making sure. <laughs> So you've been playing the last two seasons now, Lucky Luciano mm -hmm. on AMC. Yes. Amazing. Thank you. Now, I know that you are previously in another life an attorney. Correct. Yes. What was it like to play a criminal with the original mindset of an attorney? I mean, do you have to flip your brain another way or No, they're both criminals. <laughs> they're both they're both vicious. Yeah, I mean I could never, I, I wasn't a, uh, a litigant in terms of defending criminals. Okay. I don't think I could, honestly. If, if I know someone is guilty or is someone, I would never be able to consciously defend them. Sure. I just don't have that in me. Um, but Lucky was um, very intelligent, very bright, and was born in Sicily, so was old school. I mean, he mm -hmm. came here when he was six, but his best friends growing up were Jews, mm -hmm. you know. So he had Meyer Lansky, Bugsy Siegel. Mm -hmm. um, he met Frank Costello and, and Vito Genovese later in life. But he was an innovator in the sense that he didn't need to do everything the way everyone else did. And he was smart, you know. He, he I mean, for all intents and purposes, Meyer Lansky was uh, running things in terms of the money that they made, the way they set it up and designed the organization. Mm -hmm. So he's a really, really smart guy. He had a great business behind him. Mm -hmm. You know, he was a great leader. He was an opportunist. Yes. Now, what did it feel like to play Lucky Luciano? I mean, that is a really big role. Yeah. Well, you How know, do you prepare for something like that? I honestly think that I was... I was groomed for this role my entire life because, yes. I mean, you know where I grew up. I grew up in Howard yep. Beach. So my best friends growing up, I, I grew up with John Gotti's his youngest son, Peter, uh, Ruggiero's three sons, um, the, the gentleman that uh, Robert De Niro played in Goodfellas. The, on the film, it's uh, uh, Jimmy Conway. His real name is Jimmy Burke. Mm -hmm. So I grew up with his son. So I mean, these are people that I knew growing up. And like... Um, like what's his name's character in Goodfellas, uh, Ray Liotta's character in Goodfellas. Mm -hmm. When I was 12, 13 years old, I was parking Cadillacs. Yeah. At the neighborhood park. Making probably twenty dollars a car. And making twenty <laughs> bucks, like, and just that, you know, it was a, it was a really great time to grow up in that environment as a young kid. But as I got older, I knew what they were really about, you know. Yeah. And it's true, it's the best friend that it's your best friend that kills you. Yeah. So it, once you reach a certain age, it's, you need to get out. But, you know, preparing for playing Lucky, I, the one thing I did not want to do was the old being a tough guy and yeah. screaming. And if you watch the show, you can see I'm very subtle. You are. I'm very, very toned down. And I think still waters run deep. And I think that shows well on TV and film. No, it definitely. I mean, you carry yourself like a true businessman in that role. Right. You know, like a boss. Right. Now... When you were, you know, preparing for the role, like, I know they changed your appearance a little bit. Right. They gave me um, dark hair, brown contacts. I still have the brown contacts. I yeah. Think. I feel like wearing them out once in a while, but it, the weird thing is when you wear co uh, colored contacts, you see that color through your eyes. Really? So there's like a brown tint to everything oh, when okay. you walk around, so it's kind of weird. I didn't know that. I've yeah. never worn contacts before. Yeah. yeah. Now, you're playing it this season as well. Mm -hmm. What else do you have going on? Uh, well, I have a film coming out with uh, Eric Roberts and Tom Sizemore and uh, 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 Nana uh, from Brazil, a Brazilian actress who's very good. I don't want to mispronounce her last name. It's okay. <laughs> uh, but she's really talented, and it's called Black Wake. Uh, it's being produced by uh, uh, Carlos Keys, who's actually uh, Nana's husband, and it's going to be really well received. And then I have a film coming out with Heather Graham, um, and uh, John, uh, God, what's his name from uh, My Big Fat Greek Wedding? I know who. Yeah, right. I can't uh, think of his last name either. It's directed by um, Anthony Edwards, mm -hmm. and it's called My Dead Boyfriend. And uh, it's a really great film. I play Heather Grant's boyfriend in her past and the drummer for a band. Uh, and I think that's going to be do really well because it's a kind of like 80s kind of retro film. Yeah, which is really it's going to be fun. Right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was it like working with Anthony Edwards? He's such a veteran. 
I would think he has a lot to teach. Isn't it weird, like, you, you remember seeing him in, like, Revenge of the Nerds, but then you look at him now, you're like, I can't be him. I can't be him. I forgot he was in that. I was more thinking of, he was on ER, right? Right. Yeah. Well, when I got on set, the first time that I met him, I called him Goose. <laughs> From Top Gun, because that's what that's what I yes. remember from, you know. Yes. Uh, but he's a really nice guy. It's the first film that he directed, so he was very, very meticulous. I can remember Heather and I on stage in one scene when I was playing the drums yeah. and she had the, the guitar. Neither of us really knew how to play <laughs> those. I actually did play the drums, but like I hadn't played them in a while. And that's kind of one of the funny parts of the scene is that <laughs> when you watch the film, that I'm kind of like out there in terms of playing. But he had to, like, tone us down a little bit. Okay. So, tell me, what's the next most exciting thing you have going on that you're, like, really looking forward to start working on? Uh, well, I'm actually being approached. Uh, it's funny. There was a, um, a former um, FBI New Jersey gangster, FBI informant New Jersey gangster. I watched our show on mm -hmm. AMC. And now I am in talks to not only play him in a film, uh, but I'm going to be a producer for the show because he wants me involved with, you know, being able to portray him correctly. Mm -hmm. I'm actually bringing people in production that I know to the table. So I can't really talk about it too much because not, nothing is signed yet. Sure. But uh, I'm really looking forward to hopefully landing that and doing that because, that it, it, again, it's not your typical kind of um, gangster cliche uh, yeah. film. Yeah. He was a, for all intents and purposes, a con man. And so he really embezzled millions upon hundreds of millions of dollars from people. Oh my gosh. And uh, it makes for a really good story because he wasn't a tough guy. He was just a very smart man. Smart he was man. a kind of like, I, 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 I kind of think of him as like politician, someone who like smiles in front of your yeah. face and then takes off your shoes while you're walking away. The devil, you know? Yeah, smiles at you and you don't even know it's the right. devil. Yeah. Absolutely. No, will this be a TV show or a film? Yeah, right now we're talking about doing both. Really? So we're talking about doing a film and then doing a, a series. Do you, you think know. you'll play him? Uh, for the film, that's the first thing that I want to do. Yeah. Um, as you know, doing TV, it's a very, very big market. It takes a lot of money. And in order to get creative control to do a TV show, I think you really need to get a film that mm -hmm. has success first. So will you come back and talk to us about oh, it well, once you course. start? Okay. All right. Well, this was amazing, Rich. Thank you. Congratulations yes, thank on you. everything. You deserve it. You're thank amazing. You. So do you, and you look great. Thank you. Thank of you. Course. All right. And thank you, and we will see you next time.